Morph technology fuses the efficiency and power of a floor pump with the lightweight and portable design of a mini pump. The clever fold-out foot pad and T-handle increase stability, comfort, and efficiency. The flexible air hose makes reaching awkward valve placements easy and helps take stress off the valve stem while pumping. When finished, each morph transforms back into its original compact shape. This is a great pump for all types of riding, road, mountain bike, or just everyday use. It's a really strong pump, yet it's lightweight, weighing just over five ounces. It also has a clever valve system built into it, meaning it can attach to Presta or Schrader valves automatically. All you simply do is remove the dust cap, attach it to the valve, lock it into position, and start inflating. You don't have to take this pump apart to swap any adapters, it's quick and easy. It also comes with a telescope design, meaning the barrel can unlock and extend. This allows you to get more volume per stroke for faster inflation. And then when you want to get to higher pressure, you simply lock the barrel off and you can finish off with higher pressure inflation at the end. We also provide a mounting bracket which attaches to the bottle cage holes and it clips onto the pump to hold it nice and snug. And then we have a Velcro strap which holds it into place to stop rattling or it coming off. We also provide a sports ball needle adapter which screws in here so you can pump up all of your sports balls as well. As part of your purchase, we also provide a handy glueless puncher repair kit. The patches don't require any glue. You simply peel, apply over the puncher, inflate and be back riding in no time. And it's really small and lightweight and can easily fit in your saddlebag. The pump also comes in a matte black or the silver for your preference. Hi, I'm Tim with Crank Brothers and today we're going to talk about our Sterling pump. Now the nice thing about the Sterling pump is it has a universal head that's self-adjusting to fit both Presta valves and Schrader valves. This particular version has a gauge built into it that is rated to 7 bar or 100 psi. And then we have a nice little knob on the bottom here that will adjust the pump to work with both mountain bikes and road bikes on high pressure or high volume setting. In order to use the pump, the first thing we want to do is open the tip of the Presta valve and give it a tap just to free it up. Then go ahead and press the pump on. Again, nothing to reverse, nothing to move because it's a universal head that's auto adjusting. Flick the lever up to lock it onto the valve. Then you might want to rotate the wheel so you can see the gauge. And then go ahead and pump to your desired pressure. Once you've reached your desired pressure, we leave the valve. And just remember to close the tip of the Presta. With the gem pump, we have a dual head feature, which is reversible, so it'll fit on both Presta and Schrader valves. We also have a nice little adapter on the bottom, which allow you to change from high pressure to high volume setting to adapt to whether you're using it on a mountain bike or on a road bike. Now, in order to change the gasket or the internal parts, depending on your valve style, you're going to unscrew the cap and just give the lever a light pull until you see the bit exposed and where you can reach in and take out the gasket and the adapter. Once you have those pieces out, the orientation is quite simple. Fitting the two large pieces together, as you can see like this, we'd orientate it for the Presta valve and slip in this way. If you reverse those the opposite, 
where you have the small head fit into the small bit, you've now set it up for the Schrader valve. And just install your cap back on and you're ready to go. For this particular case, since we have a Presta valve, we'll go ahead and get it ready for that. Again, we'll go big, big, insert it into the pump, tighten the cap. Now, first thing we want to do is open up the Presta valve and free it up. Make sure you're ready for pumping. Insert the pump nozzle over the valve, lift the lever in order to lock it in place, and I suggest taking your hand and grabbing the spoke and holding the head of the pump in place so that when you're forcing air into the tire, you're not putting any stress onto the valve. Pump up to your, the desired pressure. Once you've reached your desired pressure, just relief the valve, remove the pump, remember to tighten the valve back down, and you're ready to go. In this video, we're going to show you the Pro Bike Tool Pump with Gauge. We'll start off by taking you through how to assemble the pump. First thing you need to do is open the dust cover at the handle end of the pump and unscrew the hose which is stored within. The hose is then screwed into the opposite end of the pump, so you need to open the dust cover here and then screw in the hose at the relevant end. There's arrows on the hose which show you which end you need to use for either a Presta or a Schrader valve. As a general rule of thumb, Schrader tubes and valves are found on mountain bikes and BMXs, and Presta are for most other types of bike. On this occasion, we're going to be pumping a Presta valve, so you assemble the hose into the pump like so. Before you start trying to pump the tyre, you must first ensure that the valve of the inner tube is fully unscrewed, otherwise air will get trapped in the hose as you try to pump. You then screw the hose of the pump deeply onto the valve of the inner tube like so. You may need to give it a bit of a push as you screw. When you're sure that you've got a nice secure fit, you're ready to start pumping away. Once you've started to get some air into the pump, you'll see the pressure gauge starting to rise, and that's the red tube here. You can see now that we've got about 4 bar, or 40 psi. Once you've achieved the pressure that you want, you simply unscrew the pump and hose from the valve, like so. And it's important also to make sure that you do up the core of the valve. Once you've removed the pump from the valve, you're ready to disassemble it. All you have to do is unscrew the hose from the pump and place it into the handle end of the pump, like so, and screw it in. You then replace the dust caps at both ends Stash it away into your bag or your pockets and you're ready to ride off.